Welcome to Skilled FX Academy. So in this video, we are going to be analyzing, forecasting this market for this week. And I'm particularly going to be niching down just for this week. Uh, I believe it is the week of the 14th all the way to the 18th or 18th rather of uh, October. And I'm going to be on gold this week. I've been getting some exponential movements on gold. I have a clear setup on gold. Nasdaq so far, I don't. So I'm not going to do something that I don't have a clear setup. And that's one of my rules of trading. Now, just to zoom in on this over here, on this chart on gold. Uh, I'm on the daily, so we can be quite relevant. I did tell you guys we did enter off a fair value gap here. I believe it was CPI. Yes, it was CPI. This fair value gap is what is impacting that market to now go back up. I also submitted to you in the previous video, even now as I submit to you, my learned friends, is that we cannot conclude that this market is going to sound if we haven't had any change of character. And how do we validate any change of character by the market breaking the previous lower high? So in that case, that is the higher low. So the HL, if we're to label it quite properly there. So the market has to break the low of this HL in the sense that that's when we can now expect more cells going down. Okay, but for now, since we've not broken that, we continued uh, giving us new higher highs, a higher low, and potentially we're creating a new high. Now, by just saying that, some of you guys can see exactly where I'm leaning towards when it comes to gold. My bias is also quite impacted or influenced just by one of my students who really focused on getting the fundamentals, the economic side of why gold should be buying. Uh, so that's as well why I want to, uh, I'm getting quite good setups over here when it comes to this. Now, uh, the emphasis of this student of mine who's quite focusing on fundamentals, he said, we should be getting or looking at creating or getting a setup to really catch this bias. And I do agree with that. I'm already in a bullish sentiment according to the markets. But this candle that we're seeing here Monday, are we retesting these levels over here in terms of the supply? So what is the answer thereof? So then the answer, we can now get it all the way on the 4H. Okay, all the way on the 4H. Now, you've heard me say this. A supply or a demand level that's on a zone where the market has retested many times on it, it's most likely to just break off. So it then now becomes liquidity for that zone. I hope you do understand me. So in this case, we can clearly see uh, that we do have this trend line right here that many traders are probably seeing, right? Trend line traders. Liquidity that the market is going to be breaking. So I can just label it and say liquidity. It may be relevant to those who are just taking temporarily sales, right? In the sense of, in fact, let me just link them properly here, okay? Because you can even say this in the sense of just back testing. But you get people saying this market must go this way, where they would put something like this, a stop loss, and then say we are heading all the way there. I'm sure there's already signals in other signals groups that are saying gold is selling. But again, I've taught you one thing over here in this channel. Let's go all the way to the H1. On the H1, there's one thing that can either validate it in, in terms of their sentiment if the market is selling or not, or really invalidated in the sense that we can really get clarity on this market, okay, on gold particularly. Now, one thing again, if the market has not broken any higher low in a bullish trend, this higher low is supposed to be the change of character. Right? So if the market does this, where it breaks that, we can look forward to it pulling back or retesting and then selling further, right? And then uses this as a buy zone. That's the only condition for a sell. But then I, I did plot something over here earlier on just before doing this analysis. Uh, we do use what we call the intraday strategy within our mentorship. That really highlights levels 
where it correlates with zones, we for sure know that that zone is going to respond. Unfortunately, you guys don't have that privilege over here. You will have to upgrade now. It's like you're on the free, uh, free content site. If you want to upgrade to that, you will have to go into our mentorship. 60% of our mentorship, guys, is closing on the 15th. So I've been saying this in all my videos till now then. Otherwise, we are we are ending it quite soon. I mean, the next day, probably 60% of our mentorship includes lifetime access to our advanced trading costs and our mentorship Discord, live trading sessions, Tuesdays and, 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 and Thursdays. So make sure you do get that for yourself to really nurture your growth in this industry. Now, according to that zone, we did, uh, according to that level, we did see that this demand right here is going to respond, okay? This demand right here. So I'm looking at the market as of this Monday now. As I'm doing this, it's Monday. You guys are probably as all going to watch it within this Monday. And the rest of the moves are going to be relevant as of their own. We can clearly see that I'm expecting the markets to do now this. To retest this. To go all the way up there. And use this trend line as well as using this as a breaker. So I'm expecting momentum. So I'm expecting a lot of momentum to take place and to take off out of this demand zone. Once it does that, I'm expecting that long bullish candlestick. If it gives me that condition, you and I, I want you to give you a trade signal over here. As, that, as it retests, it's going to now be what we call a fair value gap and a breaker. So you take this, okay? You used it as a fair value gap and a breaker, the market pulls back. Okay, let me just erase all of this. So I need a lot of liquidity. Let me just, there we go. Uh, let me just get some arrows here, proper stuff, okay? So as I said, I'm expecting a market to do this. Then once I need it to really have momentum, once it does that pull back all the way into this, as you can see, this trend line, which is now our liquidity by understanding, we can see the market is gonna pull in directly at the 50% of the break over there. Then from then on, we can now look forward to buying. So for you, my YouTube community, that's the condition of you buying. Don't buy right here with us because you don't have context of that. You're just seeing a demand, a higher low, that's good. But for you to be on the safer side, probably once I post this video, this would have been reacting already. You wanna go ahead and buy off once it has retested and then we are going higher into breaking new higher highs. I hope you do understand what I mean over there, okay? So I don't wanna waste any further time here or rather not even waste, but Rather, I don't want to prolong this analysis. I want you to really go ahead. If you're learning from our videos, right? I want you to go ahead with whatever that you've seen on your screens. Appreciate it in terms of the knowledge that, my, that I'm extending it. Just simply by liking the video. And if it's your first time, simply by just subscribing to the channel. Secondly, share it with tons of people that need this type of content. We also have teachings, not just predictions of the markets. We also do cover market recaps on how this market overall that we covering really ended up going, whether it went astray from or amiss from our prediction or really went directly to the point up to the T of our prediction. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. It will be a teaching video where we teach you more on technicals or news trading. Uh, this is what we do with on this channel. And if you're that kind of person who needs to grow, this is your home of trading education. I want to see you tomorrow then. God bless you.